So... Do we have a, like, thing that tells us what we were doing? Uh... Because I don't remember. Check the journal. Hello, everybody. I'm Kat. We're checking the journal. Chronicles with D. Deep Jungle. Go to page three. Jane and Turk got abducted. And we just saved them, I think, yeah? Yes? I think we saved them. I remember talking to them at some point. Because I think they were, like, in here or something. Yeah, yeah. Right? Like, over this way. Yeah, where we told the stories of uh, yeah, there they are. Riku's sex fantasies. Where do I help them? I will go back to camp. Try the area that's never important but might be important now. D that could be anywhere in this level. You know the one though, the one that's like that we keep going to and nothing actually happens ever. All of them. The bamboo. I don't know, we got mauled by a, uh, thing there, so, that happened. True. I forgot Sucking. Tarzan gets in the fucking way of the I forgot tree. he fucking sucks at tree sliding. Okay. Mason's gonna have your ass for that one. Did Tarzan jump and smack his face into something? Is that yep. what that sound was? Yep. I... Hmm. For reference, this is only our third session recording this. Um. Okay, now see, I remember this vaguely, because there were things here to fight, but I forget if that was, like, <laughs> just from before, or if we already, like, came here searching for things. Because it doesn't look like anything's really happening here. Well... Try the bamboo area and the place beyond the bamboo area one more time. Cause we I remember we tried the um we tried the treehouse. That didn't turn up with anything. Yeah. Um But we haven't gone back since rescuing uh, we haven't gone back here since rescuing Turk and Jane yet, so this is just the best option that I think we've got. Tarzan, you fucking idiot. Hmm. He just stepped on the banana peel when it was right in front of him. He was, like, slow motion walking to it, too. Oh, it's Zelda now. <laughs> Does the dodge roll thing actually make you faster, or... I don't know. Also, to be fair, I don't know if it gives you iframes in this one or if that's just every subsequent one. It should, but that doesn't always mean that it does in games, so. Lots of things that should happen don't. Especially in the first game of a series. Kick the pink Judging from ass. just that, it seems like uh, it may not have them. That or it's not quite forgiving about it. There are iframes in at least two and Birth by Sleep, from what I remember. Well, that'll be I good. I don't know about Dream Drop Distance because that one had flow motion instead of like a proper dodge. Mm-hmm. Um, and flow motion was weird, and it's also been a while. So, I'll get back to you on that one. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, okay. I guess Tarzan has it handled now. <laughs> Tarzan can take care of everything now. Later, Donald. You can stay dead. Oh. Hmm. Cutscene. Funny how this guy just kind of allows the heartless monkeys to exist. You'd think a hunter... Remind me, but wasn't he, like, attacked by the Clayton. thing? Not Clayton. <laughs> Not Clayton. You fucking cursed again. You... Mm -mm. Oh, that... Nice of the camera to point me at, <laughs> uh, the exit. <laughs> It's, uh, that's where you should go, apparently, according to the game, because you, uh, because you're not ready for Clayton. <laughs> or not Clayton, fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. Um, oh yeah, here comes the real boss. Should that one air. rock be like floating there like that? It's not floating, floating, but he is. And again, the camera. Yes. So he has more than one bar of health now. Cool. That's not a good noise. That was a very bad noise. You have died again. <laughs> as a thought, does, does having a gun like count as cheating in this? I don't know. In a land with magical weapons and shit, I don't really think so. Like, Leon has a gun blade. Yeah, but that's a gun blade. That's not a gun. There's a difference somehow. I don't know what that difference is, because I don't know Final Fantasy stuff, but... I don't know that specific Final Fantasy game stuff. If you ask me something about 1 or about 6, and maybe about 7, and probably about 10, I would be able to tell you. But 8, 9, and everything after 10 are all... I know nothing of uh, any of the... Final Fantasies, really. Then it'll be cool when we finally do Final Fantasy. Which, uh, which I own for the Yeah, I'm not NES. much for how those work, so... This Wii thing does not necessarily include me <laughs> as it stands. Right. It might end up being me and Mason. I don't know. Once we're done with uh, Rabbits Go Home. Which reminds me, after Mason gets back from vacation, uh, I need to set up another thing for all of us, and then subsequently for just me and him so that we can do Rabbits Go Home. Okay. Are you, uh, are you ready to fight not Clayton? I mean, I guess. <laughs> so that's just a thing it does then. Yeah. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I could be wrong, but I don't think that was supposed to happen. <laughs> I'm glad that there's a skip scene option for most things. Yeah, I'm glad this points me at nowhere near him for me to conveniently get shot as soon as the battle starts. Keep a healing item ready, because you're, like, you're about to run low. There's the actual monster, oh, by the way. Oh, okay. So that explains some things. I don't remember if the, uh, the actual PS2 version allowed you to skip scenes 
Uh, the, there was at least one scene that you couldn't skip because I remember having to, like, mouth along with the dialogue for that scene after dying a few times uh, when I was a kid. I feel like you should be able to skip things. That was... That was around the days of Metal Gear Solid 2. You could skip things in that. Yeah, but this was also Square Enix and not Konami. True, I guess. They typically want you to watch literally everything. Did that even help? I don't know. But he's only got like one hit left. Supposedly. Maybe you should stop hitting him. Maybe there's... Hit Clayton! Yeah, I forgot. Clayton is kind of the fucking boss. He's still a dick? Yeah. Like, you were mainly hitting the chameleon just to get Clayton off the chameleon. I don't know, it seems like the chameleon should sort of take precedence here. It should, but apparently you can't kill the chameleon, so... I cannot wait until we get cure. <laughs> yeah, that might be... a little helpful. So this time... Um... This takes... weirdly long to load. Yeah. But, uh, this time, fuck these guys. I also don't know, like, if you keep the experience in this when you die from before you died, or if it does legitimately send you back to the checkpoint with the experience you had at that point. Um, in Broke by Sleep, it does that second thing but you could also retry bosses and keep the experience that you had or segments where it was like an onslaught of enemies or something you could also retry and keep the experience that you had mm -hmm. uh, like in the uh, Hercules parts also I think I remember how to do the Hercules thing without needing a thing um, are you sure about that though? I'm pretty sure, because, um, and this came from me just, like, remembering it at random. Like, one day I was on our channel looking at our stuff, and it popped into my head. It didn't even pop into my head while I was editing that episode. It just came to me while, uh, like while I was looking at our channel in general after having already uploaded that and scheduled it. Oh, Donald heal you. He did a thing. Finally! He's not useless. Um. I can't see what's happening. <laughs> um, but I think you're supposed to talk to Phil again and say that you can't move it. Oh. And then he, he's like, what do you mean you can't move at Herc? And then he looks and sees that you're not Hercules. Because... Sees that he's been talking to a person that isn't there. <laughs> <laughs> That's not cool, man. Come back down here so I can beat the shit out of you, please. I don't like his laser eyes. Yeah. Also, you're locked onto the wrong thing. Not the main issue at the moment. You'd think that Clayton would, like, be a little bit more, like, shocked about the whole there is a giant chameleon thing. Anyway, uh, Tarzan leveled up and got more HP. Okay, cool. Not that it's going to be I don't care useful. about Tarzan. It's never going to be useful to you. Hmm. 
Now he's dead. <laughs> so the funny thing about Heartless is that they have hearts. Mm-hmm. But they're called Heartless. Oh, we got Cure. Yay. Finally. <laughs> um, but later there are things that are like Heartless without hearts, but they're not called Heartless. They're called Nobodies. Mm-hmm. So what the fuck? Why are these called heartless? They take hearts and they, like, use those to be heartless and stuff. Oh. Is everyone just cool with that? Like, none of them were concerned that a gorilla, a gorilla just, just grabbed us and threw us, like, actual miles into the air. Seriously. This music keeps reminding me of something, and I don't know what. Tarzan. Wind Waker? No. Just for that little bit that's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh... Not really even close to that. I don't know, it just seems reminiscent to me of something Wind Waker would do. Oh, I forgot there's an entire, like, other section of the level. Hmm. Do I really need to sidle on this? I mean... <laughs> I don't know, that ledge seems kind of big. Also, I can do that. Mithril shards. Sidling was pointless there. Also, I'm pretty sure that uh, I never actually... Oh, we got Dalmatians. Uh, I'm pretty sure I never actually used um, the um, synthesis in this game. Okay. But it probably gets you cool things. Um, I don't know what it is, even, so... It, it lets you synthesize items and stuff. You go to the, like, Moogle shop upstairs of the item shop to do it. I remember something about that, but... Um, it's the reason you keep getting mithril shards and stuff. I, d I don't think I ever did that as a kid for some reason or another. Maybe I thought it was pointless, or maybe I just didn't understand what to do with it. I don't know. The camera in this area in particular seems to, uh... Be a dick? Not like doing things. You got more mithril. Because I needed that. Okay. Specifically that ivy, though. The ivy outside in the boss area. Uh, I, really, even... I really wanted him to just grab the thing and make the ivy pointless. Can you... There we go. <laughs> Took a sec. <gasps> it's some ore calcum. That's like a rare one. I don't know what one. that is. That's like a rare synthesis item. Well, I mean, not rare, rare, but it's like there's there's not many of them in each world. It's like one in each, I think. I still have no real frame of reference as for what that is, because I don't Final Fantasy. Ore calcum is a like. Well, no, it's basically the adamantium of like literally every fantasy thing. Cool. Like the fact that you don't know anything that's or a calcum actually baffles me because, like, y like surely something that you've played or seen or watched has it. Terraria I don't know. has it. You played Terraria for a bit. I haven't played it enough to know anything past, like, how to shoot a bow. And learning that I'm bad at doing that. This is your home? But that means. Huh? <laughs> okay, wait, huh? like. Ooh. Facial expression wise, that was not the best scene. 
friends there. See friends. Oh, now hmm. I've got it. Eh, ooh, 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 ah. Means heart. I it's thought it heart. just meant fuck. Heart. Oh, hmm. that's what it meant. Friends. Same heart. Clayton. Lose heart. Aha. Uh -huh. No heart. No see friends. No heart. No friends. There's some glowing happening. Can we have someone like translate what he just said into like intelligent speech? <laughs> uh Clayton lost uh, these butterflies are really attracted to this tree. And was that know, it's because oh, it was of the keyhole. Okay. I didn't see enough of it. I thought it was just a wall of vine. <laughs> so, um, this has been a good episode. Look, a yes. piece of gummy. Uh, and Pablo, but it's sure not the king's. Hmm. I think someone has a new admirer. <laughs> um... Hmm. If weird dating of gorillas wouldn't kill you in the first place. Cool. Um, so that was that episode, everybody. Keyhole swipe to the end of episode, I guess. Because <laughs> that's, that's what they did. <laughs> Oh wait, wait, we got we got a thing. Walk through the heartless to that well. The hunter lured them there. It was his lust for power that was the bait. But it seems the bait was too tasty for his own good. A lot of these people have like <laughs> very static yeah. faces. Yeah. Shocked instead. Hmm. How emotive is Hades? He's actually, like, pretty emotive in actual, like, cutscenes, but in these ones where they use just the, like, in-game, uh, models, not so much. Hmm. Because Hades, like, has to be yeah. very animated in... It gets better in 2. Hades is in, like, every Kingdom Hearts game. That's because Hades is awesome. Should I be worried by the amount of times that, like, actual Satan is my favorite character in things? <laughs> nah. Okay, let's hope that there's not another cutscene so that we can finally end this episode. God damn it! Square Enix. Okay, leave it there. Leave I it guess there. we'd better get going. Like us, we'd better get going too. Goodbye, everybody. I've been Cat. I'm Blues. He's hungry. Yeah, well, I haven't eaten since I've gotten up like five ish hours ago. <laughs> you didn't go downstairs and eat food. Never mind. Goodbye. How do we sync it now? Because I can't like hit buttons or we'll miss anything.